2022 is shaping up to be a busy year in space. China's Tiangong, or Heavenly Palace, space station is being assembled now in low Earth orbit. It's slated for completion by the end of 2022 after 11 missions. The station carries a crew of three Taikonauts, and eventually collaborations with other countries are possible. At this stage, we are not considering foreign astronaut participation, but foreign astronauts are certainly going to enter the Chinese space station one day. There are a number of countries that have expressed a desire to do that, and we will be open to that in the future. Last June, Chinese President Xi Jinping spoke with the Taikonauts as they orbited the Earth, and in September, he addressed the importance of a well-managed national space program to meet the important role space will play in China's future. NASA's massive space launch system is a heavy-duty rocket that is the cornerstone of future manned U.S. space missions. NASA hopes to launch the mega rocket for an unmanned mission to the moon in early 2022, and it will be a key element of the Artemis program that aims to send astronauts back to the moon and eventually to Mars. First flight is going to do a test uh, around the moon and get ready for our second flight for our crew missions, and that'll eventually get us uh, to the first uh, man and person of color on the moon and eventually to Mars. Um, so it's an exciting time. Unmanned moon missions are planned by several countries. Russia's Luna 25 moon lander is slated to launch in July. It aims to study the moon's southern polar region. The ROK's Pathfinder lunar orbiter is scheduled to launch on a SpaceX rocket in August in conjunction with NASA. The craft will orbit the moon for about a year. It will be the ROK's first moon mission. India's Chandrayaan-3, the country's third lunar probe, has been delayed due to COVID-19, but the Indian Space Research Organization hopes to launch in late 2022. And we can expect to see more private companies send astronauts, cargo, and tourists into space. In this new era, we must see all the ways in which space can benefit Earth. We must see all the ways in which space can benefit the people of our nation and of all humanity. With all this activity in space, some experts are calling for a new set of rules for the road. In November, the UN created a working group to begin crafting a set of policies that aim to prevent an arms race in space. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.